Hello, welcome back to the Mark Janot Show, the tech show about hacking. Apple's forbidden words, meaning an iPhone user saying that they've been hacked. Well, it's not completely unforbidden. It can be. An iPhone can be hacked. And in this video, I'm going to show you how it can be hacked and what you can do to protect yourself from being hacked if you are an iPhone user. Without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So simply, can an iPhone be hacked? If you're worried about the security of your iPhone, it's important to know that while iPhones are generally more secure than Android phones, they are not invincible. Hackers can potentially gain access to your iPhone through vulnerabilities in apps or the iOS operating systems, as well as by tricking you into downloading malware. To protect your iPhone from potential attackers, make sure to keep your iOS and apps up to date Use strong and unique passwords, enable two-factor authentication, and be cautious when opening links or downloading files from unknown sources. Additionally, consider using a reputable antivirus app for added security. By taking these steps, you can help safeguard your iPhone against potential hacks and keep your personal information safe. Best iPhone apps to prevent hacking, right? Installing antivirus software on your iPhone is one of the best protections against hackers and their malware. So it is known that Norton, Casper Sky, and Total AV are among the highest at protecting iPhones. Uh, since our test found that these apps will uh, help protect against ransomware, spyware, and all different types of malware. So let's take a closer look into this, right? How iPhones get hacked. There are plenty of popular methods to get around iPhone security, and most of them involve tricking the user, like sketchy Wi-Fi connections. We've all encountered suspicious public Wi-Fi networks asking for a lot of personal info up front, followed by around 100 pages of terms and conditions. We've caved in desperate moments, sometimes even without using a VPN to hide our browsing history and hide our IP addresses. These are the places we most often encounter sketchy Wi-Fi networks. Airports. Many airports across the U.S. have their own public Wi-Fi networks for passengers these networks are just as insecure as any public Wi-Fi network. Essentially, any Wi-Fi network that asks for detailed personal information or is operated by a third party raises even more red flags, right? <laughs> We're looking at you, uh, boingo, right? Budget hotels slash motels, the upkeep on an expansive Wi-Fi network with hundreds of unique users and private connections is costly. So many affordable hotels opt to use one open network. Cafes and bars, free Wi-Fi is virtually synonymous with coffee shops, while the Boingo pop-up at the airport probably raises your defenses. We're willing to bet you you don't think twice about connecting to Starbucks Wi-Fi anymore. So, also, sketchy URLs. For anyone who still needs to hear it, never click on a link if you do not recognize the sender or can't verify that it comes from a trusted source. Phishing is still one of the most popular internet scam techniques and comes in various forms like these. Emails. These phishing emails aren't like the kind from 20 years ago where a randomized email address would send you a 200 character link to a free cruise. The more successful phishing emails you might encounter do a great job of impersonating account providers like Google, Amazon, or Apple telling you to update your password or account bio. Number two, SMS text messages are more recent favorite of phishers relying on the quantity over quality technique. Three, phone calls. Scam callers inundate U.S. phone numbers all day long. Phishing calls usually ask the target to call back about something relevant to the user like debt, restructuring, mortgages, or car payments. Four, social media. Social media accounts that show up as targeted ads are a new favorite phishing method as we're more likely to click on them. Five, web ads. Since the early days of the internet, Sometimes clickbait ads contain adware that's hard to remove. But scammers keep making adware because many people stick, still click on banner or pop-up ads. So how to recognize if a hack may have occurred? When a user's phone has been hacked, there are usually some tell telltale tell signs something is amiss. The phone is constantly hot or low on battery. That's one. Two, the phone is sluggish to load web pages regardless of the connection quality. That's two. Number three, you don't remember making certain calls or texts. Four, your contacts say there are they're getting weird messages from you. 
Okay, so that's that's one way. So how to respond to a hack? It's difficult to give specific advice without knowing the exact phone hack that occurred. However, here are some basic post hack cybersecurity tips. Number one, if sketchy Wi-Fi is to blame, then disconnect and forget the network. Number two, if a sketchy URL might be the issue, remove anything downloaded after you went to that web address. Number three, if the trouble comes from a sketchy app, uninstall and delete the app, then update your phone. Number four, if your iCloud or Apple ID is compromised, contact Apple directly at 1-800-275-2273 on a different or you know you can do it on a different device or visit the apple store in person so those are some some ways that not only your iphone can be hacked but ways you can protect yourself so what is your opinion on what i talked about so far i want to know please hit the subscribe button please hit the notification bell i love you stay safe see you in the next video